Hi guys, Jim Likes Cake here. Welcome back to another episode of Ocarina of Time. In this episode, we have to defeat the boss, but first we have to push down the rock over there on the stone. So we have to go through here. Kind of a pain in the you know what. What is it quick? And this is actually the easiest boss to fight. And don't hit me, because I'm going to die. Ugh. Better drop hearts. Tired of listening to this noise. I don't need seeds. Oh, I want to hear this noise again. Crap. At least it's not far away. Man. I'm gonna be away again. I have way too many vacations this summer. It's like I'm gone one next day, gone the next. Well, I'm here one next. Oh, I went and made that jump. And now let's go back. Now we have three hearts. Those bats have got to be the most annoying enemy in the whole game. Feel like getting that heart. And what is in these pots? The fairy in the bottle got away. There better be bombs in here, because that's what I need. And there we go. That should be enough bombs for the boss fight. Push this down here. And push, pull this in. Push and pull, if you know what I mean. And I noticed that all the Dungeons as a kid are inside. There's inside Dodongo's cavern and oh my gosh. I'm gonna get killed by these again. These are so annoying. I'm probably gonna do more damage than the boss. Mark my words. And I thought there was a pot there. I would swear there's a pot there. And for finally in the boss room. And that chest has bombs in case you're missing stuff like us. Not us, me. There's bombs, and I should equip the shield. The Herulean shield, because that's the key to the whole fight. Bomb down. And let's get down here. Skedaddle. And this is the 
big sinister boss. It has a cool cutscene, but doesn't do much damage. Do 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 do. Oh wait, no, that's when you get an item. Infernal Dinosaur King, Da Dongo. He's not as tough as he looks. Basically, when this rolls, all you have to do is this, and he won't hurt you. Then you follow him, target him. When he opens his mouth, throw a bomb in. And you just hit him. Yeah, so this is one of the easiest boss fights in the game. Dodongo. Wow, he's so big and all he does is just roll. Open your mouth. If you don't have the shield, you can just walk on the sides. The, um, near that red part, and he won't hurt you. And he should be dead after this. Apparently not. I thought this was quicker, but just repeat. Practice makes perfect. Practice makes perfect. What, I, what the hell am I talking about? What you talking about, Willis? And there we go. We won the battle. The epic battle of Infernal Dinosaur Kingdom. It's really funny the way he dies. He just rolls in. He didn't fall over, he rolls. That makes sense. Or not. I'm just... I don't get what this is. And the ground hardens suddenly. And... We get a heart container. So now we have five. Two out of three stones now. And now, Darunia will meet us outside and give us the stone. And you also meet some creepy pedophile Gorons. Awesome facial hair. It's me, Darunia. Well done. Thank to you. We can once again eat the delicious rocks from the Didanko's cavern until our stomach bursts. Okay, go kill yourself. What a wild adventure. It will make an incredible story. I can't believe that the Didanko suddenly appeared in such great numbers. And that big rock blocking the cave. All this trouble must have been caused by that Gerudo thief, Ganondorf. He said, give me that spiritual stone. Only then I will open the cave for you, man. <laughs> I'm not sure, man. You, on the other hand, risk your life for us. Kid, I like you, not Gandalf. How about you and I become sworn brothers? Brother? No, there's no big ceremony involved. Just take this as a token of our friendship. And yeah, we get the stone. I always thought Well this is almost as cool I just don't think it's as cool as the first one The Kokiri Kokiri The Gorn's Ruby One more to go You don't know what he means by Swamp Brothers But you've collected two spiritual stones You have one more to find 
Now let's go get it. Brother, you'll keep brushing up on your skills as you travel, won't you? You should go see the great fairy on top of Death Mountain. She will power you up. Hey, everybody. Let's see off our brother. He's the creepy pedophile I was talking about. You did great! How about a big Goron hug, brother? <laughs> they look more like zombies than Gorons. Alright. That was a great adventure. Um, Mr. Jam on his cake, comment, rate, subscribe. See you later. We'll go up the mountain next episode. On Ocarina Time.